<laughs> one of the other things that I, one of the things that I didn't like about um, about Ubuntu Intrepid was that the window decorations tend to kind of mess up a little bit. So that and when I say window decorations, I'm talking about like this bar up here. You know, like sometimes that would partially degrade or disappear. Ah. So what I want to do is I, I just want to replace the the built-in uh, window decorator with a one called Emerald. So again, I'm going to bring up Synaptic Package Manager. And just do a quick search for Emerald, just like it sounds. Emerald. There we go. Just click on that and go Mark for Installation. It's going to tell you that it needs to install some other stuff and just say OK and then hit Apply. It's going to grab that right off the web through the repositories. I'm going to download it nice and quick. And I'm going to show you what happens when we run that. Actually, there's a question here for you, Robbie. Swell. From Hacko Hawk, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Um, they say, Robbie, do, are you using NVIDIA right now? Absolutely. Always. NVIDIA is a manufacturer of a chipset for a graphic card. Uh, so the, the two top ones are ATI and NVIDIA. A, and ATI is kind of, you know, they put more of a focus in the early days on uh, DirectX, so Windows, basically. Now NVIDIA went the other route and did really, really well with OpenGL. Uh, so with the NVIDIA cards, we get a lot better uh, support for the OpenGL, which is to say Linux. Okay. So it's interesting because as I was talking about, uh, you see that this top bar has just kind of gone all wonky on me. And I haven't run, see how that's kind of, that's oh, just yeah, like a new kind of weird thing in, in Ubuntu Intrepid. Yeah. And it seems sporadic and I don't really know what's causing it. So I just want to replace that with Emerald. So now that I've installed Emerald, I can just hit Alt F2 and type Emerald dash dash replace. And now those windows are, they've got a nice new window decorator. And you can actually change that with themes and things like that. And uh, if you're interested in getting some themes, you can talk to me after the show, get into the forum. Mm -hmm. at www.category5.tv. Um, another comment here from Hacklehawk. They say, Robbie, the driver is messed up in NVIDIA and causes the window decoration to go wonky, as you say. There we go. So it's a driver issue, which makes sense. So, But I do find that if we replace that window decorator with Emerald, uh, that problem goes away. So good solution. And I like Emerald anyways. It's a little prettier. <laughs> and John Hunt uh, has a comment. John says that the NV open source driver doesn't do the 3D stuff. No. Uh, when he talks about NV, that's the uh, NVIDIA compatible driver that comes with uh, Linux. It's a free version, uh, kind of like an open source version of a driver. The actual NVIDIA uh, driver is not free, as in it's not, it's not open source. It is free as in cost, but you have to install that separately. So that's called a proprietary driver. And that can be installed in Ubuntu uh, by using your system administrator and there's a, a program called hardware drivers on the menu and when that comes up it's going to search for your available drivers so if you've just installed Ubuntu and you're not getting the 3d effects this is what you need to do and then that tells you which hardware is detected in your computer this also works for uh, wireless cards but you'll see I just installed the recommended version of the NVIDIA accelerated graphics driver and that's what gives me all the effects because it's got 3d uh, graphic acceleration any other questions coming in yeah, for us, Carrie? There is a question here from Pixels Pop. Um, they say, how can we change back if we don't like the emeralds? Well, next time you reboot, it's going to automatically go back to the original because uh, we never told it to automatically start emerald in our computer. So Oh, you have to tell it specifically. Well, you type emerald dash dash replace, and that automatically replaces uh, whatever's running. So metacity okay. in this case. So, um, or I think uh, just the the... GNOME window decorator. So uh, if you want to make it remember, you can set it as a, as a session uh, auto start program. But because we haven't done that, it's not a problem. Okay. Just reboot. Um, John Hunt is saying Pixels Pop, you can just uninstall it through Synaptic in that the same too. way you installed it. Absolutely, yeah. If you Thank are having you, a problem John. with that, sure. 